The Christmas Battle Forces for Warhammer 40k are up, so let's take a look. You know Christmas is coming when you see a bunch of brand new 40k boxes and this year is absolutely no different. So it looks like we've got some Imperial Fish, we've got some Raven Guard, we've got some Sisters of Battle, we've got Adeptus Custodes, we've got Adeptus Mechanicus, we also have Imperial Knights, Thousand Sons and Death Guard. I will say that if I have one complaint about these, it's the fact that there's absolutely no Xenos action whatsoever. We've got six flavours of Imperium. Like the only things that aren't Imperium are Chaos. So they used to be Imperium, but they're just not anymore. Question is though, which of these looks the most fun? Note that I did not say good. I didn't say good. I said the most fun. Two different things. And even then, fun is a very subjective thing, so even that is not a very good qualifier. Let's just take a look. We'll start with the Sisters of Battle with the Sanctorum Guard, and I'll be honest, I really like this one because it's full of mechs, and I love me some mechs. I love me some Dreadnoughts, I love me some big stompy robots, and these are fairly big stompy robots. Now, I know that generally the reception to these hasn't been all that great, the old Paragon War suits, because of the weird way the sister is placed within it, but frankly, there's a solution to that, which is what I would do if I were to end up with nine Paragon War suits and more than Vol, which, with the announcement of this box, is extremely likely. Uh, I would simply build them to be mostly like Dreadnoughts. Fill in the gap where the arms would be, leave the heads but use helmets instead, or maybe even completely enclose the canopy, and you're golden! Absolutely fantastic, super easy to do, and it would fix that issue straight off the bat, which... I mean, I've already got three Paragon War suits, which I'm planning to do that to, and if that goes well, then there's a good chance that this box is going to find its way into my hands as well. So we've got Morven Val, we've got six Paragon War suits, we've got five of these Celestian Sacrosans. I really like those models as well. I love the shields that they have. They're really cool, and they're kind of, they're almost like graveyard spike <laughs> railings coming out of the backpacks. I really like those. And of course, the Battle Sister Squad, which has got alternate builds too. But regardless of how good any of these units actually are, I just really like the look of this. They're really playing on my love of stompy robots with this one. For the Custodes, we've got the Watchers of the Gate, and that's quite a lot of models, to be honest. That's, that's There's a lot going on there. So we've got three of the Virtus Praetors, we've got Trajan Valoris, and we've got 15 Custodian Guard, along with three Terminators. Given that they are a fully just elite unit army, I don't know, that feels like at the very least pretty good value if you wanted a, uh, a Custodian Guard-based force. I say good value because I'm assuming that you will get a significant discount buying these boxes as opposed to buying them all separately, and of course good value is a relative term that I'm only using when comparing it to Games Workshop's other prices, just so we're clear. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Personally, if I ever did Custodes, it would be full of Dreadnoughts and bikes, but you know what? If you want to go infantry route, then yeah. For the Mechanicus, we've got the Elimination Maniple, so Belisarius Call, six, six Catafron Destroyers, sure, why not? We've got two Castellan Robots, and we've got the Skitari Vanguard slash Rangers, depending on what you want to do with them. I mean, I'm a sucker for the Adeptus Mechanicus bits, and at some point, I really want to pick up Belisarius Call. This, I don't know. This, to me, is weirdly uninspiring in a way. You know, the Adeptus Mechanicus has been expanded on with some really weird and interesting things, and there are some kind of cool and funky things that they have within their army. I guess, to me, it feels like a big bulk of this box is taken up by Belisarius Call. It feels like if they'd put a different HQ choice in, they maybe could have squeezed something a bit more interesting in there. Gut feeling, not my favourite. So the Imperial Knight's Chainbreaker Lance, this is just a good start to an Imperial Knight army. You usually want a couple of smaller knights in there, up to four, and you obviously need big knights as well, so no matter what they did with this, I feel like it was going to be a decent start to this force. Now, off the top of my head, I think you can do three big knights and four of the smaller ones, so yeah, this is just a solid beginning to that. And given that the entire army is based off, like, two kits... You, you can just do whatever you like with this box. I mean, it says it's led by Knight Preceptor Canis Rex, but you can build it as literally any of the other knights. And same thing with the uh, same thing with the Helverin slash Warglaves. The armages can just be built as either of those. So in terms of just like sensible starting out, this is this is the best one so far, I think. This is definitely a box that feels like it's a good way to get some Mortarians out to people. I mean. Council of the Death Lord, you've clearly got Mortarian right there. Five Blight Lord Terminators and what? 40? Yeah, 14 Plague Marines. I don't know how many Death Guard people would be using this box as like an expansion, because I'm assuming most of you have already got Mortarian at this point. But as a way to kick things off, I don't know, it's kind of tickling my fancy. Detecting a theme here with the Chaos Art of Things, so the Death Guard was Mortarian and a bunch of infantry, and funnily enough, the Thousand Sons is 
Magnus and a bunch of infantry. So the Court of the Crimson King is literally just the man himself and, what is that, 20 Rubric Marines? Yeah, 20 Rubric Marines with some exalted sorcerers. I'll be honest, this one isn't exciting me very much. Maybe it's the idea of painting that much trim. Maybe that's what's putting me off. <laughs> that much trim and those wings. Oh dear lord, the highlighting required is devastating to the soul. Again, I feel like this is something that is not put out there for people who already have these armies like it it really just feels some of these boxes where it's like oh you could start things off with this or you could add to an existing force when you throw in like a major named character like magnus or mortarian it kind of feels like it's limiting that a little bit because i just can't help but assume that most players for those armies will already have the two demon primarchs that head them up you know so far nothing is grabbing me as much as seven nundams to be perfectly honest the imperial fist box i actually quite like so the bastion strike force 15 heavy intercessors and you've also got some aggressors along with tor garadon tor garadon is a solid model it's just a shame about the color of his armor i love the heavy intercessors because they are big chunky girthy boys and the aggressors are okay they're not my favorite but they're okay i would suggest not a particularly inspiring box but at the same time that's a lot of heavy armor and if you like heavy armor you're not going to be disappointed with that and i like heavy armor so it's okay plus i've bought tor garadon like three times now and i've never once built him as he is so <laughs> i always feel like i'm i almost feel like he i should just build one normally but then i but then i don't want to that to me feels like a silly army, but in a good way. So that makes me happy. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit not as good value because you'll get the Imperial Fist Primaris upgrades and transfers, which, you know, you could just throw straight in the bin, but that will affect the overall cost of this box, which is a kind of a shame because it's just a bunch of heavy armor and that's fun. And finally, we've got the Raven Guard Raven Strike Battle Force, which is sneaky because it's Raven Guard. I mean, it's, I feel it, it's kind of fluffy. It's pretty fluffy. It's pretty fun in that way. Obviously, all Primaris, there's no bog standard marines in there at all, but then you wouldn't expect anything else with these battle forces, would you? Although, having said that, didn't they put some Firstborn in the Blood Angels one? Was it last year? Or am I just... Oh, maybe I'm making that up. No, I don't think I am, am I? Anyway, ten Reavers, two Invictors. I mean, I like the Invictors, so that's fun for me. And uh, three Eliminators, plus a Caven Shrike and the Sneaky Librarian. I know, I know, it's technically Librarian in Phobos armor, but who cares? Sneaky Librarian sounds better. That's not true, it really doesn't. Honestly, I think my favorite is still this. It's still this. I just want a bunch of robots. That's all I want. Is that is that too much for one person to ask for? I don't think it is. The question is, which one takes your fancy? Anything jumping out this year, other than the complete lack of Xenos representation? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. In the meantime, feel free to click all the things, Patreon, those subscribe, all that stuff. Click it if you like, don't click if you don't want to. And of course, there's an affiliate link in the description for Element Games, which you can use to support the channel if you'd like. I leave it in your cable hands. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.